Alright guys and welcome back to my channel. I've got another Disney themed video today and it is all about extra morning magic hours. We did this in January on my birthday and it was absolutely amazing. I think it's actually called early morning magic. It's basically the one that you pay for and they do it in specific regions of different parks. I don't know if it's on all the time or if it's specific times of the year but we went in January as I've just said and it was amazing. It requires a very early start. I think we either got off at 5 or 6 and we were there I think by seven or maybe we got there for six really should have looked at this before but anyway you can find all the information online i just wanted to say like my thoughts and opinions on it so we actually did the toy story land one which means you get to go to toy story land earlier than anyone else before the park opens and experience it in a quieter setting and honestly it was a hundred percent worth every single penny my mum paid for it because it was my birthday it was kind of like a birthday treat and honestly i think i would do it again and pay for it myself if i was to go back because it just meant that we got to ride the rides there was no queues it was more relaxed there was it was so empty if you go back and watch my vlogs you can see there's hardly anyone there i think there must have been about 70 people or maybe like a hundred or something like that in that area and it honestly was nothing so I've got a list of everything here and I thought I'd start off with that a food is included you get breakfast but my tip to you is spend every single minute that you can in that area with the time that you paid for so say it starts at seven and finishes at nine spend those two hours in that park and have breakfast after so i think yeah it was until nine and then food was served until 10 and i think we got food in the abc commissary so we went into toy story land rode all the rides did all of that and then we left at nine when the rest of the park got let in and honestly you can tell it was literally like a tidal wave of people coming towards us we was in a queue to meet characters and I was so glad to get out of there when the crowd came in because it was just hectic. It was so busy. Everyone trying to get on Slinky Dog as park opens. We went and had food after and it was basically all you can eat. They had a little buffet section with teas, coffees, fresh juices, cereals, muffins, pastries, things like that. And then they also had a quick service bit open with food. Lots and lots of different food. Again, if you go and watch my vlog, you'll see what we had and I'll insert some pictures to show you what we had, we had some tortilla, tortilla like breakfast nachos and it was incredible. It was like shredded tortilla, I think it had eggs, bacon, um, spring onion, things like that. And then we had a charcuterie board that came with like cheese, ham, a bit of butter, different breads, things like that. My mum got shrimp and grits and then I got chicken and donuts for my breakfast because on my birthday why not it was absolutely amazing and you could literally go off and order as much as you want as many times as you want and it was all included with the price so we definitely made the most of that i think we in the end we actually got one of everything and just shared it all so yeah this was definitely worth it and i think again because you get to sit down it's a lot quieter because there's only the people that paid to be there in that room so it's not like you're fighting for a table at a quick service it's definitely worth it so another great perk is that there is literally zero wait times or very short wait times i think when we went slinky dog dash was the longest at 15 minutes which is just insane it was literally like you walked around the entire queue and then had to wait at the bit undercover and that was literally it and you were on straight away we went on that i think five or more more maybe more times which is a lot of time within the time we had in there but on alien swirling sauce i think three times and that was a zero minute wait honestly you just walk straight on and then toy story mania i think we went on that a couple of times as well and that was a zero minute wait but the queue for that, you still have to walk through the whole queue. So the queue, to the walk to get onto the ride was longer <laughs> like, than anything. So you have to walk all the way around. But yeah, it was amazing. They also had the characters out. We I met Woody and Jessie on my birthday. They sang happy birthday to me with their feet. And they like, made the sound of it. It was incredible. So that was definitely worth it because you get a short wait time for a character meet. 
So yeah, I think that is everything. Obviously Toy Story Land is quite a small area. They also had teas and coffee stands set up within the park, so if you were waiting you could grab a coffee there before you go and get the food later on. Um, but yeah, it was definitely worth it. And I'd go again. I think I'd like to do one in one of the other parks. I think I have one in Fantasyland as well. I'm not sure about Animal Kingdom, but I know that they only do it in like specific lands or areas within the parks. But it was amazing because then when we left Toy Story Land, we were able to go on Rock and Roller Coaster and Tower of Terror because they had really short waits because everyone was going straight to Toy Story Land at this point. But honestly, it was incredible. It was such a good day and it was just really nice. There was no one there. It was really early. So I think when we were going in, it was still quite eerie because literally no one was there. I think the sun was just rising, especially walking down Hollywood Boulevard in the morning. There was no one there. Another great thing is it's great for photo opportunities as well. If you're someone that likes to get photos um, with no people in the background, it's amazing for that, especially in the rest of the park. You can't really wander off too much, but we got a few photos down the boulevard and on the way into Toy Story Land as well because it was literally empty. So yeah, that is my video on early morning magic hours. And I would 100% say it is worth it, especially if you've got young children or maybe people that don't want to be waiting in a queue, this would be a great idea. And also, if you're there for maybe a couple of days or if you're on a trip to Florida and you haven't got park tickets, you could maybe get a one day park ticket and do that as well and then get to go on all the rides that are really sought after, still enjoy them and then just kind of enjoy the rest of the park day as well, which would be really good. It just means you can get on the rides that are on the top tier of the Fast Pass list all at the same time without having to worry about not getting on them or a couple of hours wait in a queue. So yeah, it was just amazing. I had such a lovely day. I would recommend to go and watch my vlogs on it because they show more of what happened. We had such an amazing time and honestly, I'd love to do it again. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you want to see more from me and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.